The version control feature is used to protect the document if you accidentally close it without saving it or there's a power surge you're like oh my gosh I forgot to save it. Well it's based upon the autosave features so if we go back and make sure that we have that set up correctly then hopefully it automatically saved it for us. So to go ahead and set this up or see the settings let's go backstage click on the file tab go down to options select save and there you go by default it should be checked to keep the last autosave version if I close without saving and then above that it's going to save auto recover information every well 10 minutes but when you hover over it in the pop-up you can enter something as less as a minute to up to 120 so if you type in a thousand words a minute ooh, we better set that low to like a minute then go ahead and click okie dokie and let's make some changes let's get rid of that and then let's go ahead and delete that and then just wait for a minute and it'll automatically save it for us and you see that boom it just automatically saved it if you look down below and rewind the video on the status bar there is a quick flash so let's go ahead and verify that it saved it by going backstage clicking on the file tab and info selected by default just come down here to manage document check out document or recover unsaved changes and there you go auto recovery today at 7:24 p.m. Whew, am I working late in any case it's there so if I go ahead and click back and I'm like close out and I don't save it oh I just lost it oh rats well that's okay there's the document go ahead and open it back up and go backstage and there you go so when I close without saving it it was updated at that time so let me go ahead and click on it opens up the window and you get the recovered unsaved file this is a recovered file that is temporarily stored on your computer do you want to compare it or restore it first of all compare we'll go over that in a later training video because well that's a whole separate training video to go over but in short what it does is it brings up the original or the last save version with the most recent unsaved file that we just opened up as you can see up here on the status bar this is the version it's got the date the time it's unsaved and it's read only the reason why it's read only because if you go ahead and click save it wants to perform a save as and have you rename it so you don't accidentally overwrite the last save version or the original unless you intend to do that so it does have a little bit of a preventative measure going on let's go ahead and click cancel then the other option is to go ahead and restore it now if you restore it it takes this and merges it into the original there the original that I have which you can see is over here I'm backstage there when I clicked on that it opened up the new window with the unsaved auto recover version here so let's go ahead and click on restore you're about to overwrite the last save version which is my original with the selected version are you okie dokie with that of course and then you can see it closes out of it now I just have one document open not the two the original and the unsaved and so if I go file to backstage there you go now it's obsolete because it merged the two so let's go ahead and go back and go you know what I really want to make some changes and let's go ahead and add in our website again delete and then go ahead and wait a minute and then it'll save this version here if I don't save it, it automatically does an auto save and there we go let's go ahead and go backstage file and there's the next version so this one's obsolete because it already merged it so if I go ahead and close out of here and don't save it and I'm like oh no not again that's okay automatically saved it for us as a version so double click to open it up and then go ahead and go backstage file and there you go it got rid of the last one because well that one we already merged or restored so we're left with this one here when I closed without saving it we can go ahead and click on that to restore it come up here go ahead and restore it or if not you can go ahead and save it as a separate file so you have your original in addition to this one so you got your different versions and I can go ahead and close out of that so you may want to keep this in mind by default it's set to 10 minutes so if you got to this training video and you're like man I wish I had that document a little while ago well you may want to come down here and check to see if you've got a version here that you can go back to and now that you watch the training video maybe you want to update it from 10 minutes before it does an automatic save to well a minute or two thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up 
can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.